I think the, the big thing from the American elections for the European Union is to understand the consequences, uh, uh, what motivates people. When people can see a consequence for their vote, when they can see that their vote uh, will make a difference in the outcomes and what will happen to their lives, people are more motivated to go and vote. And so I think it's a big challenge for the parties in Europe to explain uh, 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 what the consequences of whether the left wins or the right wins, whether we have austerity or we don't have austerity, whether we have people who care about the environment or don't care about the environment. It's the issues that people uh, are motivated by, not by the institutions, not by the projects, but by the tangible issues that affect their lives. And, you know, there are lots of tactical uh, uh, things you can learn from America as well. You know, people are less driven by traditional media. They trust the traditional media less, and they go to the traditional media less to get their news. I don't look at front pages of newspaper websites even very often. I get my news links from my friends I follow on Twitter. It's kind of a, a, a crowdsourced RSS feed, if you like. You know, people are, are looking to each other for uh, information. And so I think political parties need to think about uh, how they can mobil mobilize their supporters, motivate their supporters to be advocates on their behalf, and how they can persuade people to uh, share information, whether it's from the traditional media or from uh, information they're producing themselves, videos, graphics, uh, tweets, uh, for people to get their uh, information from directly as well. OK, I've got one more question, actually, to talk about this. One of the big things the Committee of the Regions believes is to try to engage local authorities and local government into the European election campaigns. And this re reflects one of the points that you made about the fact that we need to mobilise communities. Though we have quite a reduced budgets, do you think it's actually possible? And what tools can local government use to actually support the campaign? I think a big challenge for a lot of voters is information about uh, getting registered, whether they can vote. I think a lot of Europeans living outside their home countries don't realise that they can vote, uh, don't have information and access to uh, uh, where to vote and so on. It's unusual for them to vote uh, when they're not in their home country. I think local government authorities have a big role to play in making sure that people have access to the kind of information that they need to, to, to get involved. But ultimately it's up to the political parties to explain the choice and the consequences of elections and to motivate people about how it will affect their lives.